okay hello there so today we are going to discuss about meaning of solution of an equation and once we understand the meaning of the solution of an equation we will move on to the solution of a differential equation and once we are clear about that we will be discussing the power series method and the power series method is a very important question which they keep on asking for IOE math first year second part okay so let's try and understand solution of an equation okay so I want you to take a look at this equation it's a very simple equation and most of you may have learned uh, in maybe class maybe class 6 or maybe class 7 okay so we have an equation x minus 5 equal to 0 the solution of this equation is x is equal to 5 I'm sure that uh, you know the solution but my question is different why do you call x is equal to 5 to be a solution what is the speciality of this x is equal to 5 okay so look at this what will happen if I replace x with the value 5 oh the equation will be balanced so look at this when you replace x with the value 5 the equation will be balanced or satisfied or x has the capacity to satisfy the given equation so x is equal to 5 will be called the solution of the equation so let's make it clear so what do you mean by solution yeah it's a value of the variable here the variable is x which can balance the given equation okay so let's move ahead let's look at a trigonometric equation sin x is equal to 1 by 2 so can you give me one value or a few values which will balance this okay i hope you were good in trigonometry and you are good in trigonometry so the value of x oh we have a lot of values okay so i have to rewrite the definition of solution so solution is the value of x i'm not i'm going to stick to that point solution is the value of the unknown or the variable uh, the proper word is unknown the value of the unknown in the equation which can balance the equation so what sine 30 if i replace x with 30 degree i'll get sine 30 and sine 30 is 1 by 2 and 1 by 2 is equal to 1 by 2 you can take a calculator and check this what is sine 150 degree yeah, it's the same thing 1 by 2 and what about sine 390 degree you're going to get the same thing so once more solution is a value or a set of values which can balance or satisfy its equation okay let's move on to the next one yeah it's a quadratic equation and I'm sure you have seen this equation many 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 times okay and I remember the solution I'm not using a calculator right now but I know the solutions are 2 and 3 so tell me what's the reason 2 is a solution okay the reason is very simple if you replace x with the value 2 the equation will be balanced that is we will get 0 is equal to 0 the same thing happens when you replace x with the value 3 okay so the equation is x square minus 5x plus 6 is equal to 0 and you can take a calculator or work out this thing in your mind so once more I'll ask what do you mean by solution of an equation we saw three different equations one a linear equation and then we saw a trigonometric equation and finally we have a quadratic equation 
so make it very clear solution of an equation is the value or the values of the unknown which can balance the equation okay now let's move on to differential equation okay all of you know that when you have a differential equation there will be lots of dy dx dy by dx etc and i'm sure you have learned how to solve this using variable separable method or separation of variable method but my question is yeah yeah i think you guessed the question what do you mean by the solution of this differential equation okay so it's the value of y which will be in terms of x and which will balance the or which will satisfy the given equation so once more what i mean by solution of a differential equation yeah the value of y which will be in terms of x and that value will satisfy this equation okay so i'm going to make a guess y is equal to e power x what is the derivative of y is equal to e power x look at this what is the derivative of e power x e power x so does it balance our equation yeah e power x is equal to e power x so this is called a solution and there's a special name remember that name it's a particular solution what do you call this it's a particular solution okay so now i'm curious i made another guess i took y is equal to 2 into e power x look at this i took y is equal to 2 into e power x and i am getting the derivative to be 2 into e power x so what do you think will it balance this equation of course look at the left hand side it's 2 e power x and what about the right hand side it's 2 e power x okay so this is another particular solution okay so let's move on now you can think about the values like y is equal to 3 into e power x y is equal to 1 by 2 into e power x y is equal to minus 1 by 2 into e power x all these values will satisfy the differential equation dy by dx is equal to y so there are lots and lots and lots of particular solution so the most general solution is y is equal to c into e power x so i'll repeat the most general solution is y is equal to c into e power x because this t c stands for our 3 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 or any number okay and you can try this with variable separable method and i'm sure you'll get the same answer so let's try with variable separable method so i'm going to separate the variables i'm going to write dy by y is equal to dx and then integrating on both sides what is integral 1 by y dx yeah natural logarithm of y and that will be is equal to x plus c so that y is equal to e to the power x plus c and that gives you y is equal to e power x into e power c but e power c is just a constant so we end up with c e power x so my guess was correct anyway i want you to notice this 
the solution of a first order differential equation will contain one arbitrary constant okay now do one thing take a piece of paper and pen and note this i'll repeat take a piece of paper and pen and i want you to note this very important point the solution of a first order differential equation will contain one arbitrary constant okay once more i'll ask what do you mean by solution of an equation yes the solution of an equation is the value of the variable or unknown which will balance its own equation and the solution of a differential equation which is in terms of dy by dx is the value of y which is in terms of x and that value of y will balance the differential equation okay so let's move on and check one more example okay so take a look at this we have a second order differential equation here okay i'll write it here d square y by dx square plus y is equal to zero okay so i made a guess i made a guess because dy by dx of sin x is cos x and if you differentiate once more we end up with minus sin x so take a look at this the second derivative is minus sin x and the y value is sin x okay so my guess is correct y is equal to sin x is a solution and what do you call such a solution yeah it's called a particular solution okay so let's move on to the next page so take a look at this y is equal to sin x is a particular solution of the equation do you still remember the equation d square y by dx square plus y is equal to zero so take a look at this if y equal to sin x will satisfy the equation then y is equal to 2 sin x will also satisfy the equation okay let's try it what's dy by dx okay that will be 2 times cos x and what will be the second order derivative d square y by dx square and that will give you 2 times minus sin x okay now take a look at the equation minus 2 sin x plus 2 sin x yeah it balances the equation so i'm going to conclude this is the general solution or the general form but remember this is a second dot of differential equation and the beauty of a second order differential equation is there will be two independent solution take a look at this the same equation what is that equation d square y by dx square plus y equal to zero if you consider y is equal to cos x i get the second order derivative to be minus cos x so minus cos x plus cos x gives me zero so look at this we had a previous solution y is equal to sin x and we have one more solution y is equal to cos x but these two are not dependent okay and before you learn power series method you learn a determinant called Ronskian. and if you calculate the Ronskian of uh, let's say i'll call it y1 and y2 for reference if you calculate the round skin of y1 and y2 you'll find that these two quantities are independent so take a look at this we have two independent solutions and the most general solution is given by yeah this one 
anyway my point is different you have to notice that the general solution of a second order differential equation contains two arbitrary constants so before i went end this video we will discuss everything so what do you mean by solution of an equation yeah the value of the unknown which will balance its own equation or the value of the unknown which can balance the equation or satisfy the equation and what do you mean by solution of a differential equation which is in terms of dy by dx yeah the value of y which will be written in terms of x and which has the power to satisfy the differential equation and we learn two more things if you have a first order differential equation that is a differential equation which is in terms of dy by dx then the solution will contain i mean the general solution will contain one arbitrary constant and if you have a second order differential equation then the solution will contain two arbitrary constants okay so we will soon meet with the next video in which i'll be explaining about power series method which is very very important for the ioe first year second part exam okay till then 